Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com, and uh, this is our series on the evolution of voice over IP. So the first thing I want to show you here is a traditional telephone system and how it is set up in most businesses. Um, actually, before VoIP, this is how we always did it. We've done it this way for years. And uh, let's start out. So first of all, we start out with uh, the PBX, um, and uh, that stands for... Uh, private branch exchange. Exchange usually means that's where switching of the telephone lines take place. So it's a private branch exchange. It's owned by the person who owns the you know the building or the company or whatever. It's not owned by Pac Bell or or uh, AT and T or any big company like that. It's just owned by the local person, and the phones connect directly to it. And you can see the three phones there. That's just an illustration. And uh, they can do some things. They can uh, pick up lines. They can put lines on hold. They can dial each other's extension. Um, they usually have extension numbers like 201, uh, 202, uh, 203, let's say, here. Um, and what happens is you can dial back and forth. Now, if you want to make an outside call in these older systems, usually you push the button or you dial 9 and you got dial tone. Now, that dial tone is taken from the PSTN, Publicly Switched Telephone Network. Sometimes technicians call those lines CO lines, and that stands for Central Office Lines. And, of course, this little box right here is your central office. Uh, it, it represents your central office. Now, an interesting thing is, let's say you have 10 telephones. Well, you don't need 10 central office lines, CO lines. You, usually in an office setting, you need about what they would say 40% trunking. Uh, that's the term it's used, and that means if you have 10 phones, you usually need four um, uh, PSTN lines uh, going into your system. And the reason why is not every body that has a phone on their desk is dialing out at that point. Um, and usually uh, at peak periods uh, in an office setting, it's it's usually 40% uh, uh, of the phones are actually dialing out uh, or being used at that time to make an outside call. Now, the exception is, is if you have a call center, and then it's usually one-to-one. -one and, and you recognize a call center. They're the, the people that call you at 6 o'clock at night when you're trying to eat dinner, and, and you can hear in the background all the different people talking and stuff like that, and they want to sell you something. And, uh, of course, my apologies to people who are listening who run call centers. Um, but uh, that's that's usually a one-to-one, -one, usually one CO line for each telephone. So that's how it used to be. Now, that PBX often also has the voicemail system. So you're going to have your voicemail system there. You're going to have your auto attendant. Yeah, it's going to control all the buttons on the phone. And it's also going to provide power to the phone. You know, phones need power. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that because they just think the phone works on its own, but it's really powered by the PBX. Um, and the extensions are actually in the PBX. Uh, the phones are kind of dumb, dumb instruments. They really take all the information from the PBX. Now, if you notice, uh, down below there is you have uh, PCs, and you have the Internet, and you have a switch and a router. And uh, the PCs are attached to the switch. Um, and, uh, and also, you know, if you wanted to uh, send something to the printer, the printer's attached to the switch also. It's not on the screen here, but it's just, you know, it's just like a, a, a PC, and it's, it's a printer. It's attached to the switch. The switch connects everything together. So when you go and you click on something and you want to send it to the uh, to the printer, the switch knows where the printer is attached to, and it sends your information to the uh, printer. Now, once uh, now, if you want to go into the internet, you know you want to check out your Facebook, or you want to check out the news, or or what's happening in the world, and then you click on you know your browser www dot whatever it is. Uh, what happens is the switch knows that that's an outside um, attachment. Actually, um, it's in your computer. It's called a gateway. So the, it has the address to the router. So once the router gets that information, the router refers it through the Internet. 
And so routers, that's what routers do. They route uh, things. They they uh, do things like that. And this is oversimplified, of course. You, you got other things in there like firewalls and and other uh, protocols that are taking place. But, but for this lesson, we're just going to go with the basics. So this is how it, it, it has been for years. This is how some people even have it set up today. It's probably going to be years before this setup changes. Um, this is not a VoIP, a voice over IP system. This is just traditional. Those phones could be digital phones or they could be analog phones. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, they're all set up the same way if they're digital or analog. Digital doesn't mean voice over IP. Even though voice over IP, you know, voice over internet protocol is a digital phone, um, if these phones were digital and that PBX was a digital system, um, uh, what you would actually have is proprietary um, protocols. It would not work with other phones. In other words, a Panasonic phone is not going to work on a Toshiba system. A Toshiba phone will not work on a Panasonic system or an at and uh, Lush, uh, whatever system, uh, Samsung system. You get the idea there. They were very proprietary. And... Uh, they did not go through the internet. Also, if you notice that uh, you need a, a, a cable behind your wall that goes to the PBX from the phone to the PBX and terminates on the wall in a jack, and that's going to be separate cable for the telephone, and it's going to be a separate cable for your computers. So they're two separate systems. They're completely separate. Anytime you wanted to move one of those phones, you got to get a telephone guy out there, and he's going to have to um, uh, move it for you. He's going to have to, uh, you know, uh, uh, do the cabling and the programming in the back of the building. So that's the traditional setup that you, you see in most businesses today. Now let's move on to the next, which is uh, uh, the way a lot of people have their voice over IP system set up. And this is what it looks like now. Um, and if you notice, the, the first and major difference is that the PCs are plugged into the back of the phone. PCs don't have to be plugged into the back of the phone, but that does save you the extra cable. You only have to run one cable to a work area per uh, workstation and per uh, phone, you know, so just one cable total uh, rather than two. So right there, cabling a building is half the price, so not quite half the price because People still have to get up there and pull cable, and there's there's still you know redundant labor uh, that's involved. Uh, but there is a savings both in materials and labor when you put in a VoIP system. Now remember again, voice over IP um, is uh, what it stands for is uh, Internet Protocol, and that's what that's how it's spelled too: capital V, small O, capital I, capital P. So it's Internet Protocol. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it goes out on the Internet. It just, that's the protocol it uses. That's the, the code that it communicates in. So it takes your voice and it turns it into ones and zeros and, and sends it to wherever you're calling. And the same things are happening here. The voice system is, uh, uh, you know, you can use it as an extension calling from one phone to the other. Um, what you do on your PC does not interfere with your voice. They, they, uh, the systems know what a voice uh, data packet is, and the system also knows what a PC packet is. So there's really no difference between um, uh, the, you know, the cable and things like that. It, it, it knows how to handle it. The computer systems do. So notice that that goes from the phone to the switch. There's your switch again. And, uh, of course, if you're on the PC and you want to print something, you just hit the print button. The switch knows where to send that information to. Um, now, if you want to go and dial, let's say, um, somewhere else in the country, so what you do is when you pick up your, your uh, VoIP phone and you dial, it's going to go through your switch, through your router, and it's going to go out to the PSTN, Publicly Switch Telephone Network. And then from there, it's going to dial out, you know, to wherever you're dialing somewhere in the world. And uh, let's say you're going to dial grandmom. You're in California, you're going to dial grandmom. 
it's now going out over your AT&T network or whatever network it is and it's going to dial grandma. Grandma doesn't have a voice over IP phone. She has her traditional phone at her house. She's going to pick up. You can talk. It's because of that router. Router is going to, to change the protocols at the appropriate time. So when you hit the router, you're, you're using internet protocol. Once it leaves the router to go to the PSTN, you're going to use a regular analog or, or a, a digital protocol that's not voice over IP. And then, of course, if you're at the PC and you're going to be going out to the Internet, you're going to go through the switch out to the router and then to the Internet. And the router is going to know that it's a PC, wants to get onto a website, um, and so it connects you that way to the Internet. Uh, and, you know, I remember years ago when we first started putting in voice over IP systems, sometimes customers would not uh, understand what voice over IP. They would hear Internet Protocol and they would say, oh, well, I don't have to pay my phone bill anymore. I can dial anyone for free. And that's simply not true uh, in this setup. Uh, you can't dial people for free. You still have to use the PSTN. It is attached to your router. And um, you still have... Um, uh, voicemail and all that's in the router your voicemail and your your auto attendant is in your router or a piece of equipment that attaches uh, to the router um, but when you want to make that phone call it's going to go out over the publicly switched telephone network and that's the way it had been for years now the latest and greatest is the way it's done now so let's switch screens and let's go to the way it is now now if you notice um, you know, you still have the PCs, the VoIP phones going to the switch and everything else. And, and remember, there's a savings there because you only have to pull one cable to the wall, and that's where you plug in your voice over IP telephone. And there's the router, and, uh, and uh, the router goes right to the Internet, as you can see. And so what's happening here is you, you have a company... Um, that's going to take over um, routing your calls to the PSTN, and they're called it Internet Telephony um, uh, Service. And uh, so when you dial Grandma, uh, and you're in California, and she's in uh, New York, it's going to go from your VoIP phone, and it's going to go out the switch. It's going to go to the router. It's going to go to the Internet. The Internet's going to route it down to your telephony service provider. And then it's going to, from there, it's going to go out to the PSTN. From there, it's going to go to Grandma in New York. Okay? And then she can pick up her traditional phone and talk to you. Now, the nice thing about this system is, let's say you have a another... Uh, uh, location for your business so you have two three maybe ten locations well what's nice about that is you can go from your VoIP phone out to switch out the router to the internet and then directly to that other location that has a VoIP system and you can talk all day you can talk 365 days a year you can talk every single minute in the whole year never hang up and it won't cost you anything because you're going through the internet there is where the real savings is. That's where you save money. So you're not only going to save money on your cabling, you're going to save money on that call. Let's say if you decide to take a phone home and have a home office, or one of your employees has a home office, um, they're directly connected uh, back to your company using your um, system and everything else. And they can dial out also locally using the um, internet telephony service provider and um, so it's just like they're in another cube there's no additional charges for them working at home there's no additional charges for their pc for their phone for the phone calls and then if they were right there in your office making uh, phone calls so this is the way it is today uh, now what's nice about this is this is what they call uh, cloud telephony systems so you can you know this is true uh, use 
of voice over IP systems. You have no PBX hanging on the wall. You have uh, none of that. It's it's just going right out to the internet, and um, uh, it's it's taken care of that way. And uh, um, what happens is is in the cloud, which is where your internet telephony service provider uh, exists, uh, they're going to provide you the outside lines that you need if you're making a, a, a an off net uh, phone call. You know, phone call to someone else. It's not a VoIP system. So there's a lot of savings there. Uh, a lot of times what you get is just a monthly fee. The the uh, fee is a lot less than if you're going to set it up yourself. If you're going to have uh, PSTN attached to um, directly to your router, it's a lot less expensive this way. It's a lot more flexible. Um, in fact, there's some systems where you can actually just uh, hop on your PC and you could program your telephone. You can program the buttons on your telephones. You can program your features. You can program a lot of things on those telephones. Uh, you also have the capabilities of having interaction with um, uh, websites such as Salesforce and all that can uh, directly attach to your phone and uh, uh, work seamlessly between the phone and the PC and the internet. And it really becomes flexible, it becomes easy to use. Uh, if you're a, a business owner and you own this system and um, the person on the extension 201 um, is, takes a job somewhere else, uh, you can go right into that phone and you can change that person's uh, name on the phone. You can change their access um, and you can do that yourself or a uh, service provider um, can do it for you. We can do it for you and um, maintain it. You can see how many phone calls are made. You can see who they were made to. You, you can get real-time information. And at the same time, that phone and that PC and that software that's out there on the Internet can all be integrated together. This is a great system. This is what Voice over IP was originally designed to do. Very inexpensive. Uh, you don't have the, the multiple charges that you do with a traditional phone, so sometimes it's a lot less expensive uh, than a traditional phone system. You can pick up those phones. You can plug them in anywhere. You can plug them in somewhere else in the office and they're going to work. There's, you're going to get your extension number back again as soon as it, it uh, turns on and connects. You can... Um, uh, if you have internet access at your house, uh, you can take that phone home over the weekend and plug it in at your home. You can work out of your home. If you're, if you're sick, you can have a phone at your house and it would appear as if you're right there in the office. So there's a lot of really good flexibility and savings here using uh, cloud services, um, you know, voice over IP using uh, cloud services, uh, sometimes called hosting, a uh, hosted system. So, um, this is the best way to go, and this is the way I'd recommend it. Uh, again, this is Jim with CableSupply.com, and uh, thank you for watching uh, the short video. Really appreciate uh, when you do. You have a great day. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com, and today I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in the drywall. This is David, signing out. You stay classy, Internet.